I'm tired. I am tired of having to make excuses for why I don't have enough content in this channel. Anyone who has followed me long enough knows that I have depression and probably also some a bit of ADD. Some people will say that I do. And uh, I have my highs and my lows, and when I'm in my lows, I don't produce anything. When I'm in my highs, I start making videos, start working on stuff. And I've been in my lows for a long time. Now, my channel's focus so far has been to make it an all-encompassing, all-everything, all-things geekdom channel. Covering games and movies, TV shows, anime, everything. Problem is, as you know, I haven't been covering very much of that stuff. Um, mostly because I've been in my lows and I haven't, you're in those lows, you don't care about doing anything. But a lot of the stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek. All the news coming out about those things has been all very frickin' depressing. And it makes me mad. And it triggers my depression. And, and I just sit here and not do anything. Not produce anything. I don't want this channel to be another quartering I don't want it to be another tipster. Um, I'm certainly not a doomcock, although I do watch him fairly regularly. So I'm not uh, Overlord DVD. And I don't want this channel to be that. I despise what's happening in politics right now in DC. That makes me very angry. And I don't want any of that on the ch channel. And it is depressing me. It's making me non-productive in producing videos. So I need to make a change. I need to make a change in the channel to focus what this channel is going about, uh, the kind of content that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to follow. Um, basically Bashar's, Bashir, Bashar's, um, guidance here. Follow my highest excitement. What's my highest excitement? Well, I like video games, like anime. So, the focus of this channel, I'm going to have to change it to where it's the things that I really like. The things that bring me joy in my life. In a world that's gone completely fucking insane. So I'm going to be focusing on one more video games, which means I'm going to be do a little bit more streaming. I'm going to be doing more um, video playthroughs, or at least I hope to. I'm not going to make any guarantees on anything on at this point. But um, I, I did a stream of Outriders. I have a separate save specifically for streaming. So I'm going to get back into that. I have a separate save for me enjoying and playing the game myself. And I've been having some fun with it. I've been doing Final Fantasy XIV. There's a new expansion for Elder Scrolls Online coming up that I want to play through. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. and. This week, um, it's supposed to be today, but it might not come till like the 16th. I spent my stimulus check, or part of my stimulus check, on getting an HTC Vive. Vives are almost impossible to get a hold of these days, because they're no longer in production. No, it wasn't the first VR headset, but it was the first that was really successful. The Oculus Rift was the first, but the Vive really exploded VR because of Steam and Steam VR and how amazingly accurate the uh, tracking is. Tigra 
has an HTC Vive. He he bought his when they were still in production, and the, the accuracy of the controls and the head movement and everything is just absolutely amazing. Now, I've got um, a Windows Mixed Reality headset, the um, Samsung Odyssey. And it's a good headset. I do like it. Uh, I really do like it. And the reason why I chose the Vive instead of maybe buying an Index is because of the OLED screen. Because, um, you know, deep blacks, especially when playing something like Elite Dangerous, the deep blacks of space are black. Because the OLED screens are their own light source. Whereas LCDs, like what the Index uses, it has a little bit of bleed through. So blacks are sort of a, a gray. If you've ever watched an old black and white TV show on a LCD TV that doesn't have, um, you know, that local dimming effect where it dims the lights in dark areas and brightens it up, keeps, keeps the lights on in light areas. Well, if you don't have a screen that does that, you'll see the bleed through. It'll look like a gray instead of a black the way it's supposed to be. OLED is true black. LCDs, it's not. So I wanted to keep the true black. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to do more gaming content, more videos about video games, and, and talking about video games. One of the things we're going to do with VR is Tiger and I are going to have a show. If this works out, we'll do it weekly, every Friday, where we're sitting in like um sitting like we're doing an interview. Sitting in a well I'll see how we can set things up. I got some tips by watching Fia. It's a really good channel on virtual reality stuff. She does the virtual reality show. Got some really good tips from her on how to set things up. But him and I, with our virtual avatars in VR, talking about games. One of our topics will be why lore is important in a video game. Why having, why having defined lore in a video game is so important, especially in a role playing game. Uh, and, and things like that. Like more, more positive content or positive content. Be doing a lot more VR stuff because I'll have a really good VR headset. Do stuff like Half Life Alex and No Man's Sky in VR, Elite Dangerous in VR. Be doing more Star Citizen stuff in won't be doing it in VR. It, it did have it for a while as it as an experiment. They're gonna bring it back, but they can't do it yet until they have the Vulcan render. But we'll be doing, focusing more on that, n narrowing the focus, cutting out the pop culture crap. Because I don't want that wokeism crap on my channel. Now, the anime stuff, I still want to do that. I still want to cover, you know, talking about some of my favorite stuff, favorite, favorite shows. Some people think that it's weird and creepy that a 50-year-old guy likes anime. Well, you know what? Fuck you, I like what I like. You can bite me. So, because of YouTube's shitty copyright problems, I probably won't put that content on YouTube. I'll probably put that out on uh, BitChute and Rumble. And that's the other thing that I need to do. I need to focus more on getting that, con getting my content out onto those channels, onto those platforms, differ differentiating to uh, other platforms. So refocus here. Stop rambling. I'm gonna refocus this channel. To be about gaming, specifically PC gaming, multiplayer games, uh, Battlefront to do more of that, 
more Overwatch, Overwatch 2, um, so I'll pick that up. Although I, although Blizzard's been on my shit list recently. And, uh, Paladins probably won't pick up any of the Battle Royale games. I suck at those. I, I played a little bit of Apex Legends for Gamers Bay. And speaking of Gamers Bay, I will be doing more video for them as well. I do mostly retro stuff for Gamers Bay. So the focus here, PC games, multiplayer stuff, and VR. And no pop poke, no more pop culture BS until wokeness is dead. Once that's gone, then maybe, maybe I'll start a different channel that focuses on pop culture stuff. But for right now, the focus will be on games. I'll still do the professor where I'll be talking about video games and stuff like that. I'll still do that. But, uh, the professor will be, I'm changing. I've been using face rig for professor, for the professor, but I may switch over to a, a VR avatar for him. We're, we're going to be moving in a year. We actually own this place, double wide trailer. So, if when we move out of this park to our own land we're going to be getting soon maybe this year maybe next year we have to get it we have to clear the land get it prepared move this thing out uh, there and get a second trailer so that me and um dave here can have a bigger room a bigger bedrooms but um when we're done, my room here is going to be the, is going to be a new set, green screen and and some uh, can be like a set where you can switch sides and have like decorations and stuff on the wall, so that we can can sit here and talk to you and have something interesting to look at behind me, and green screen for other stuff that I'll be doing mostly for Gamers Bay. Or retro gaming shows over over there on that channel, and um, so we're gonna be doing that. But that that's the thing. I need to refocus this channel to get the negative stuff out of it because I need to. And there's some other things I'm gonna be doing myself off the channel. I'm not gonna be focusing on looking at the negative crap i mean i hardly ever go to facebook there's so many brainwashers there and there's certain people i follow on twitter there are certain people i follow on twitter i absolutely despise twitter puritans so i'm follow i steer clear of them i don't go to twitter very often mostly out on miwi miwi Mewi, you don't see that stuff too much. So that's where I usually. That's where I usually. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's what's going on. Uh, next few weeks, I'll start ramping up some more content, streams, more videos. Um, as I said, no guarantees. We'll see what happens with me. But it's something I I've been needing to do for a while because I haven't felt right sitting here and not doing anything for the channel. And I've got like a hundred and something subscribers, and I keep seeing new people subscribing to the channel, and I'm like I'm not making anything. I need to change that. It's not like I'm out to become some big famous person on the internet. I'm just some old fuck that likes games and anime and just enjoys talking about them and playing games. That's basically it. Anyway, thanks for tolerating my rambling.
I've been Mike the Zorch. See you next time.